Let's go to page 356 and start with number 2. Okay, so you got 3x squared minus 27y squared. So again, when you're doing the factoring, start with step 1, common factor. So you can factor out the 3. So you get x squared minus 9y squared. So that's your step 1. Then you could go to step 2. This is your difference of square. So you're going to get two sets of parentheses. So you're going to have an x, x plus minus 3y, 3y, and that's it. Okay, so that's your step one, step 2a. Okay, number four, you have 6m squared minus 54n to the four. Okay, so you can step one, common factor, go and factor the six. So you get m squared minus 9n uh, to the four. Okay, so that's your step one. Then step two, this would be the step 2a. Okay, so get your two sets of parentheses. So you need to get so break this up. So it'll be m and m minus you're gonna get plus three n squared minus three n squared, right? Again, difference of square break into conjugates. And that's it. Okay. Okay, number six. Um, you have a to the four minus sixteen. So step one, common factor cannot. Step two, so this is a step two a. So break into two sets. So be a squared plus four, a squared minus four, right? So again, difference of square break into conjugates. Now, when you have a square, you have to keep checking. Notice this is a difference of square again, okay? So again, that's why you always put a plus first. So you can line up. Now this one, you can do, do it one more time. So it'd be a plus two, a minus two, okay? So again, difference of square. Make sure you know how to break into conjugates. Okay, let's go to the next one. Okay, number eight. You have uh, six v squared minus twenty seven v minus fifteen. Okay, so step one, common factor, cannot. Step two, no. Step three, step four. So master product should be negative 27, and this would be negative 90. Okay, so one comma, negative 90, two comma, negative 45, three comma, negative 30, and this is the, the one, okay? Okay, so break it into V and 6V. So uh, inside, so this would be the inside. So minus 5, 6 times negative 5 give you negative 30, so that's the inside. The outside would be, need to be a 3, so it would be plus 3. 1 times 3 give you 3. Okay, and that's it. So again, every problem you go through the, the check, uh, checklist. Okay. okay, number 10, you have 18 z squared minus 21z. Minus nine, so go through the step. So this would be step. Uh, oh, this one you have to do a step one first. You can factor the three. So it'd be six z squared minus seven z minus three. So make sure you do step one, okay? Then step two, step three, step four, okay? So master product is negative seven and negative eighteen, okay? So it'd be one comma negative eighteen, two comma negative nine, and so this is it, okay? So you can use your step one. Okay, the z, if you do the z and 6z, uh, this is not going to work because none of this will be, 6 times something is not going to equal to one of this number. So that's not it. So try the next one, 2z and 3z. Okay? Okay, so the, the inside, this would be the inside. So it would be minus 3. 3 times negative 3 give you negative 9, the inside. The outside, would be plus one because two times one give you two. Okay, and that's it. Okay, number twelve. Okay, you got nine x squared minus thirty-six. So you can make sure you do step one first. Go through the list. So step one, common factor, so factor the nine. Then step two, this is the difference of square. 
So factor into conjugate so it'll be x plus two, x minus two. Right, again, this will give you x squared minus four. Okay, next one. Okay, number 14, you have 45x squared minus 6x minus 24. Okay, let's see. Okay, step one, common factor. This can factor out of 3. Okay, so factor out of 3, you get 15x squared minus 2x minus 8. Okay, so that's step one. Now, step two, step three, step four. Okay, so it'd be negative 2, and this would be negative 120. Okay. So go down the list. So this one you need to get 10 comma negative 12. Now if you know the correct combination, you can go straight to it. If you don't, if you don't know the correct combination of your head, just go one, two, three, four, five. Just go down the list. But if you if you know, you can just go straight to it. Okay. Okay. So get two set of parentheses. So again, if you go x and 15x, 15 times something is not going to equal to one of these. So cross it out. Go to the next one. So 2 is not going to work, right? So it would be 3x and 5x. Right? 3 times 5 gives you 15. So you, can, you have to take care of the first term, okay? Okay, after that, now you can go and worry about the inside and outside. So this has to be the inside. So it would be plus 2. 5 times 2 give you 10. That's the inside. The outside would be minus 4. 3 times negative 4 gives you negative 12. Okay, and that's it. Okay, 16, you have au squared minus 2au plus a. Okay, so step one, common factor, that, there's a, 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 so factor the a, so you got u squared minus 2a plus 1. Okay, then after that, okay, go to step two, now this is a square, this is a square, so you need to check out the step uh, 2b, the perfect square. So from this you get u, from this you get 1. Now to match the middle, you need to have the negative to match that. So you check, right? So sign, negative, negative, check. 2 times 1 give you 2. Uh, the, okay, this is a u. Uh, you factor out the a, so you got u. Okay, so u match. Okay, so that's it. <coughs> okay, number 18. Okay, you got 16 uh, y <coughs> to the 8 minus z to the 4. <coughs> okay, so step 1, no, step 2, you need to get 4 and 4, y to the 4, y to the 4, so you can use, so 4 times 4 give you 16, y to the 4 times y to the 4 give you y to the 8, plus times plus times minus give you minus, you get z squared, z squared, okay? Now again, there's a difference of square over here again, okay? So this is plus, so it's done already. Now minus, you have to try, you have to do it one more time. So you need to get two and two, two times two give you four, you get y squared, y squared give you y to the four, plus minus, and z squared, you need to get z and a z, okay? And once you do that, then that's it. Number 20, you have 25v squared plus 100. So step one, common factor, you have to factor the 25. So you get v squared plus 4. And since this is a plus, you cannot factor anymore. So that's it. So this is the step one factoring. Okay, you cannot do the step 2b. Okay, so again, difference of square, you have to have a subtraction. Okay, 22. You got 3m cubed minus 3m squared n minus 36m n squared. Okay, so step one, common factor, 3, 3, and 36. You can factor out the 3. You got all the m, so you can factor out the m. So this one would be m squared minus m n minus 
in square. Okay. Then after that, go to step two, step three, step four. Okay, so your middle term would be minus one, and this would be minus twelve. Okay, so it'd be three comma negative four. Again, if you know the correct combination, you can go to it right away. If you, if you don't, just go one, two, three. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, so this will be m, this will be m. And because there's no number in front, so whatever you see is whatever you put down, so it'll be plus 3. Now there's an n in the back, so you have to put n in the back. So it'll be minus 4n. Okay, again, if there's a variable in the back, you put variable in the back. If there's a variable in the front, you put variable in the front. And that's it. Okay, 24. Okay, you got 15 h squared k minus 35h k square plus 10 k to the 3 okay so step 1 common factor the number you can factor the 5 the alphabet you can factor the k okay so it becomes 3 h square minus 7 h k plus 2 k square okay so step 1 common factor then you go to step two, step three, step four. So it'd be negative seven and it'd be six. Okay, so you need to get negative one comma negative six. So this would be the correct combination. Okay, so to break this up, you need to have an H and three H. So therefore, this would be the inside, okay? So three times negative two, three times negative two will give you negative six, okay? And the outside would be minus 1. 1 times minus 1 give you 1. Okay? And notice there's a variable in the back, so you need to put variable in the back over here. Now, don't put 1k. Okay, 1k would be just k, so you can just get rid of the 1, so it becomes k, and that's it. Okay, let's go to the next one. You have x squared y to the 4 minus 100 x to the 4 y to the 2. Okay, so step one common factor. This one you can factor the x squared, you can factor the y squared. So this would become y squared minus 100 x squared. And now you go to step two. Okay, this would be step 2a. So it'd be y, y plus, minus, now 100, you need to get 10 and 10, right? 10 times 10 give you 100, and you need to have an x and an x. And that's it. Okay, number 28. Okay, you got 3b squared x to the 4 minus 12b squared y squared. Okay, again, step one, common factor, you can factor the three and the b squared. So you're gonna get x to the four minus four y squared. I can do a quick check. This times I give you that, this times this give you that, okay? Okay, so now this is the difference of square. So you can get your two sets of parentheses. To get x to the four, you need to get x squared, x squared. To get minus, you need to get plus, minus. To get 4, you need to get 2 and 2. 2 times 2 give you 4. Y squared, you need to get Y and a Y. Okay? And that's it. Okay, number 30. Okay, you have 45 minus 9Z minus 5Z squared plus Z cubed. Okay, so again, step 1, common factor. Cannot. So you go to step two, four times. So you have to do the grouping. Okay. Normally you just leave it the way it is, so you don't have to rearrange. Okay. So put a plus, and this would be minus five z squared plus z cubed. Okay. So first half you can factor the nine, so you get five minus z. The second half there's a negative, so you have to factor the negative uh, z squared. So factor the negative z squared, you get 5 minus z. 
Uh, you can double check, check very quickly. So negative z squared times five give you minus five z squared. Negative z squared times negative z give you plus, right? Negative times negative give you plus. So again, you always good idea to do a quick check, okay? Make sure you do it correctly. Then you got five minus z, so you got five minus z, okay? And the level would be nine minus z squared. Now, don't just stop over here. Again, when you have a square, you always have to check, okay? And again, this is a square minus square. So this has to break into conjugate again. So again, nine, you need to get three and three. Three times three give you nine. To get the to get a minus, you go plus minus, right? Three times three give you nine, plus times minus give you minus, and you get z times z give you z squared. Okay, and that's it for this one. Okay, let's go to number 32. you got 10xy plus 5mn minus 6xy minus mn. Now, at first it looks like it's a grouping problem, but it's not, okay? Notice you got xy, xy, so you need to, so don't do things blindly. Don't jump into it right away. You got to look at the problem. Okay, notice that these are like terms. So you got to combine this together, so this will become 4xy, okay? And here's your like terms, so this and this, we give you plus 4mn, okay? So again, you have to simplify, combine the like terms first, then you can go and do the factoring. So you got four and four. So step one is common factor, okay? And that's it. After you factor out the common factor, there's no more square, that means you're done, okay? okay number 34. <clears throat> You have y to the 4 minus 18y squared plus 81. Okay, so step one, common factor, okay, uh, cannot. Okay, step two, you check for perfect squares. <clears throat> okay, so this one is a perfect square, so it's, yeah, so you're going to work out, so you're going to get y squared, okay, and so y squared squared give you y to the 4, and 81, you need to get a 9, and you need to get a minus, right? So again, negative 9 squared give you 81. So again, you use this to ch check this, you use this to check, to get, to guess this. Then you have to multiply this together to check the middle term. So negative match with negative. 2 times 9 give you 18, so it match. Y squared match with that. But again, because there's a square, so you have to keep checking. Notice this is a difference of square. So what you need to do in this case, you have to write it out twice, okay? Okay, so you can do factor each one of these. So this one, you, you're going to get y plus 3, y minus 3, okay, from here. This one, you do the same thing. You're going to get y plus 3, y minus 3, okay? Okay, now notice you got two of these, right? So you're going to get y plus 3 squared, okay, this two is this. And you're going to get y minus 3 squared because you got two of these. And so the, your final answer would be this. Okay, let's go to the next one. Okay, you got eight, uh, a to the eight minus b to the eight. Okay, so step one, common factor cannot. Step two, difference of square. So this is the difference of square, so you can make into two sets. So it'd be a to the four, a to the 4, right? a, term, a to the 4 times a to the 4 give you a to the 8, okay? To get minus, you go plus or minus, right? And this one, you get b to the 4, b to the 4, okay? So this is done, but notice this is the difference of squared again, okay? So you need to break this down into two sets again. So this one, so we, we're done with this already. So you just copy it down, okay? So for this part, you need to get a squared, a squared, right? a squared times a squared give you a to the 4, plus times minus give you minus you get b square and b square okay so again plus is done but notice this is a different square again so you have to do this one more time okay now you see why i want you to write the plus first so you can help you to line things up okay so 
So this one you break it into two sets again. So it'd be a, a, right? A times a give you a squared. Plus times minus give you minus. B times B give you B squared. Okay? And that's it. So again, you, so you, you have to keep checking, keep trying on this kind of problem. Okay, number 38, you got m squared minus 25 plus mn minus 5n. Okay, so again, step one, common factor cannot, so step two, four terms, so you need to group them. So put a plus between the group. Okay, so the first half, this is the Difference of square, okay, so you have to break into conjugate, so it would be m plus 5, m minus 5, okay. And then the second half, this one you can find out the n, so you get m minus 5. Okay, now you have m minus 5 here, m minus 5 here, so you can find it out. So when you find out it's gone, so you're going to get m plus 5 plus n. Okay, next one. You got 10 C Y minus 6 C Z plus 5 D Y minus 3 D Z. Okay, so step one common factor cannot. So you go to step two. So this be step two C grouping. Okay, so the first half, you can find out the 2c, so you get 5y minus 3z. So double check very quickly, 10cy minus 6zz, okay. So you can always good idea to do a quick check. Okay, this one you can find out the d, so it'd be 5y minus 3z. Okay, so okay, that's kind of nice. So this match with this, so you get five y minus three z. So factor it out. So when you factor it's gone. So you get two c plus d. Okay, 